everyone, and welcome to the adventures of Peg and, and Kitten Tears. It's our multiplayer husband and wife let's play in the game Seven Days to Die. As you last left us, we have occupied this abandoned church, and Kitten Tears is fortifying the windows here. Another thing you can do with the wood is you can board up these windows, fortify them. Uh, they have several layers of fortification. I'll do some as well. So, whoops. One yeah. board, two board, three boards. And then if you have scrap iron, you can further... Oh, do you have some? Not, Not that much. much. Uh, well, if you have scrap iron, you can further fortify them into sort of scrap iron shutters. And yeah, this is how it kind of like look. That's, that's what it would look like. Yeah, I know you can't see too well here at night, but um, there we go. We only have the one measly torch because the one I started with is in my backpack. All right, we're back. As you can see in the night, we just did some um, basic reinforcing, made another uh, door here. Second door airlock type for now. Um, made some chests, some basic organizing. All right, so if you do occupy a pre-made structure, there's likely to be a corpse in it. Just so you know, you can get rid of these unsightly messes with your stone axe. Yeah, a as I said, as far as building structures, everything, you, you can destroy it all, get it out of your way. Um, we want to modify pre-existing structures, which is fine, especially early game. Easy way to get... Uh, get something without a lot of resources, but they're usually in areas that are full of zombies that you'll have to deal with in the respawning. Unless you find a cabin out in the woods. And some of those pre-made cabins have forges already in them, which is uh, just awesome to have early on. Although not much use without many of the recipes that go with it. Alright, anyways, not going to do too much in here. Also these bags of trash. You probably don't want a bag of trash in your house. Uh, loot containers that are okay. out of a certain proximity of you of will respawn loot. I don't know what it is. Maybe 30 in-game days or something. Might be sooner. But ones that are in an occupied area within a certain radius, I think, of where you drop your backpack, maybe? Don't know. But they won't respawn uh, loot. So there's no reason to keep things like piles of garbage in your house, hoping that they will respawn. A little bit of maintenance might be necessary. I'm not going to show too much of that, though. What we're probably going to spend most of this in-game day doing is gathering some basic res... yeah, pardon me. Gathering some basic resources and reinforcing our little domicile. Our church. So. Uh, one of the things that we can do is line the outside with spikes, maybe make a little balcony up there uh, to be able to shoot incoming zombie hordes with, although with the primitive melee weapons we have, not a whole lot of use of that. But, you know, gotta use what you can, especially early on. And as I said, I got you some pants, so let me give you some ah, plant pants. fiber pants. Ah, yes, aren't you fashionable in your Plant fiber pants. I guess, like hemp. You're making hemp pants. I don't know. You tend to be a vagabond in this game. You roam around building new uh, outposts. Although, in our last one, uh, we had a central... Um, and you can check it out in the previous video we have, or one of the previous videos labeled The Tour. That shows um, a structure we built after about 205 of the in-game days. Uh, completely... Uh, handcrafted uh, zombie fortress, anti-zombie fortress or zombie bunker. Uh, it was pretty good, but that was our central location in, in like a spider web spawning out from it where it like little outposts, because you need to kind of travel around, find new areas to loot, uh, just to explore in general. So, yeah, sometimes you'll end up coming across old places you've lived in and forgotten about uh, if you play the game long enough. Alright, so we're going to spend some of today just um, just gathering resources and fortifying this structure. Uh, we'll come back and show you what it looks like uh, when we are done. 
Get up on okay, the... Okay, so on our next um, evening after we've gathered some supplies and we're still reinforcing, um, dogs have started attacking our compound. Come outside here, sweetheart. Yes, so... Fun, fun. They shouldn't be able to get up here, but I guess we'll see. Uh, did you knock down the bottom? Oh, shoot. Oops. Oh, here's some excitement. Oh, Just God. hit them. That's all you can do. Or get outside and try and run. I think we should be okay. I'm bleeding, so I don't know about that. I have a bandage if you need it. We're not gonna have time. Just keep hitting him. starts in seven days to die. Yeah, just um, goes to show you that wasn't a seven day horde or anything, it was just a couple zombies happened to walk by while we were Ooh. making Ooh. a little bit of extra noise inside. And um, yeah, so they came and they busted through. We had two reinforced steel doors. Um, thankfully it's almost daytime. I'm going to huddle out here in the desert yet again. We hadn't done nearly as much reinforcing uh, during the day as we had planned to and unfortunately as you can see it kind of led to uh, led to a bit of a problem there that was a dickish move that they just said they spawned me back in the middle of a cactus patch no I didn't <laughs> uh, you must not have heard they did that to me earlier oh really yeah <sighs> so there we go it's oh, almost it's daytime not... I heard dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, don't know what do you there. see your backpack? Because I don't see my backpack. I do, yes. Oh, no. It's oh, probably no. hidden under the marker for me. Okay. Depending on the Hopefully. direction you're oriented. Yeah. All right, it's daytime, so let's see I'm how far. I'm just going to have to watch you run then. Wow. Yeah, they actually spawned you where they spawned me last time. They spawned you in the same cactus they spawned me, in fact. Really? I can see that, because you're coming from that path I last... Oh, no. So they spawned you right on the very cactus they spawned me on. Oh. Okay, I see a little campground over there. Um, you know what we should do right now? Since beds have been causing us a lot of problems, we haven't bothered to get enough cloth to get beds tents right there. We're attacking these tents, and we're getting the cloth we need. Okay, so, okay, so just, stay just stay right there for now until I can uh, get to you. Hopefully I can. If I can't, then just grab all the cloth that you can. If you need to get cloth quick and you see tents, by the way, smash those tents down, and you can get easily the cloth you need, because we're talking four fragments um, per for some of these chunks here, or three fragments, and so that's good. Actually, whoa! And actually, yeah, grab as mattress. much as... Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. That um, will also work as a spawn point, that mattress, so I can just use that. Um, I think I'm coming near the tents that you're at. Let's get as much cloth as we can, because we have so much aloe that I can make some really good bandages. We really need the bandages. Unfortunately, I think I'm bringing some zombies with me. Sorry. Oh, did you search the um, car? No, I did not. I didn't notice it. I just saw the cloth and realized we desperately needed it. So I'm gonna search this. Blue sedan. Uh, ooh, an axe! Yay, an actual metal axe. Oh, nice. 
Uh, there's some zombies incoming. Actually, we got mattresses here. <laughs> we didn't even need the cloth. We ended up oh, okay. finding Grab the mattress. these dirty mattresses. But, but we do need the fabric, so the fabric is Oh, no, good. yeah, we should. We're already here. Let's just get what we can as far as um, cloth. Because then we can make cloth armor as well. I'm getting some okay stuff off of the corpses in here. There is a zombie nearby somewhere. Oh, there's a whole horde coming, so just get what you can. What do I get? I mean, I got 69 pieces of cloth, so... I got about 20. Oh, well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... Just do what you can. What we can't get, that's fine, but we got two mattresses? We got three or four mattresses. Oh, that's good to know. So, okay. that's all we needed. Watch out for the side. Alright, bye-bye little zombies. Yes, zombies, I see us. Alright. Church sanctuary dead ahead. Quiet in the city. No. Oh. Some spots. Oh no! I hear an airdrop. Oh. No, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go for it if there's an airdrop. Oh, it is a distance though. Yeah. Every um. I think the standard setup. There. Be careful. I'm in the middle of the road. The standard setup for airdrops is once every three days. Um. Uh, the supplies drop from the plane. There's a flare attached so you can see it uh, up ahead in the distance. They have some of the best chance, it seems, to drop schematics that you need to make the best items. So, plus they could just have great medical supplies. And um, if you can, if they look close enough, it's almost no reason um, not to. Obviously, if you're trying to fortify and get ready for the seven day horde, then yeah. Otherwise, you kind of got to go for the airdrops. Oh my god, there is zombies on our roof. Aye, aye, aye. Um, okay, so you're you're further away then? Me? I thought you were ahead of me as far as getting the airdrop. No, I wasn't. I was pretty far right, away. Alright, you know what? We're actually just gonna... Oh, that's weird. Alright, so here's one of those weird bugs in the game. As you can see, there appear to be floating campsite things up in the air there with no actual campsite. That's pretty bizarre. And there's a cave here. Oh, we'll have to mark this on the map. There is a cave right here, so okay, good. this is going to be very important. In fact, one day I want to build a home directly above a cave. I think that would be excellent. So let me just try and mark this real quick. <sighs> Come on. There we go. I got the fat zombie so off the roof. Where it is. Alright, so actually we're probably going to end this episode of the Adventures of Pagan and... Kitten Tears! Right here, since we are home. Um, I think that would be safest. So, we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.